What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? It's Ring Bean. Welcome to another live episode, and this week has been incredible. A lot of awesome finds, as you're going to see in the footage. I'll go ahead and mention it like I always do. If you haven't checked out the Discord server already, highly recommend it. Roman's at 700 members now. It just keeps growing and growing. Just a huge community filled with retro gamers, people who buy, sell, daily, full-time, part-time. It doesn't matter. If you ever had any questions for buying and selling, it's a good place. If you're wanting to show off the pickups that you get, we got a massive list of pages there that are just extremely helpful for like-minded people like ourselves. So I will leave a link to it in the description as well as a pinned comment. But anyways, to these finds, the things that you came here to see, sit back and relax. Let's check a look. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good, you doing alright? Good. Alright everybody, welcome back to another episode and as always, let me know in the comments some of the things you've discovered. I always like reading through them and seeing what you guys get out there. So this first pickup right here is at a side of the road parking lot sale. Someone at a previous yard sale actually told me they had video games so I came right over right after and here we go with some DS games. I got one to flip which is Yoshi's Island and the other one which is Spongebob Hero Pants that I get to keep for the collection. Is, yeah. Two for five? That's fine. Awesome. I was thinking maybe there's something that I missed there, but honestly, I didn't know if this was the lady that the person was talking about that had games, or it was another the vendor here at the sale. So I kind of wanted to get these and walk around. Thank you. Hello. Hey. How much you ask on plug and play? Uh, five dollars. Let me think about it while I walk around, okay? Okay, no problem. I do end up coming back and getting that plug and play for two bucks. Like I always tell you guys, always be on the lookout for them. Sometimes you can get, you know, between 20 and 25 bucks for them. A lot of times, you know, maybe 10 or 15 But they're usually fairly quick flips. And if you can get them for a dollar or two, they're definitely worth Hello. it. But like I said earlier, I wanted to check all these vendors out just to make sure there's not a box of random games that I'm missing. Unfortunately, I never do find that big box of video games at this parking lot sale. But for this find right here in particular, this was an excellent stop. This is Star Wars A Galaxy Divided, the PC starter kit. And, you know, given the market, this can sell in between about 40 to $70, and it does have the key with it. Always check that with your PC games. For the price, this was perfect. What'd you get on a PC game? <laughs> <laughs> and as you're going to find out here in this coming week when we have another episode, there's even more at this place. Hello. How are you? Yeah, you doing alright? <laughs> He's mad at me. He doesn't understand. Don't happen to have any like older video games by chance, do you? Like old Nintendo or Sega, Game Boy, old cartridge stuff. I think I think my husband just said the last one on eBay. Oh man. That's a shame. I would have bought the heck out of it. He's got the collector's edition of, um, mm, where is it? Because I was, and that's actually, you can look it up, use my phone and look it up. It's a, it's a steal because these two are going, that one's going for 50 Left-handed cigarettes are not legal yet in North Carolina. I don't have a problem with them. And as you can see, the people here in this state don't have a problem with it because I have no idea what the hell this lady was talking about when she was talking about $50 for whatever she was pointing at. Maybe it's something I missed, but I doubt it. 
<laughs> Would you go a buck on that? Right, two. If you got 50 cents, I'll do it. <laughs> This pickup right here was fantastic. This was a Facebook deal, and when I saw the listing, all it was was just a GameCube. There was no games included in the pictures or anything. And when I saw the GameCube, it was just your basic purple, uh, and it had three controllers, two aftermarkets, and one official. And I actually already sold the official, I believe, for $22 or $23 plus shipping on top. I always separate them if I can and stick with the aftermarket when I bundle them, and just the best way to maximize your profit. And as you can see, we got some incredible titles here. These are just... You know, some really AAA title games that always sell quick or they're great games for your collection. And the way the way I got them in her description, it said that we have games that, that we are willing to sell as well. But she didn't post in that same picture or anything, so I guess nobody decided to message her. So I sent a message. I said, well, what games do you have? She sent me a picture of all of them. Unfortunately, Mario Kart is not there. It is the case and manual, but believe it or not, you can sell just that as well. And I asked her how much she wanted for just the games, and she said 45 So she was at 45 and 50 for the GameCube. And I initially said, well, how about $70 for everything? I did not know Mario Kart was not there. She messaged me back and said, well, Mario Kart's missing. Would you still want everything? I can do a cheaper price. She said that. So, of course, I said, well, how about 60 for everything with the Mario Kart case, which had Tony Hawk inside. Fantastic. This posting right here was from Craigslist. If you don't know already, you can get notifications sent to your email, you know, keywords, Nintendo, games, that sort of thing. So utilize that to your advantage, and that's where this one came from. Oh, you want me to come grab that for you? Ah, is it okay if I look at it real fast? Double check everything here. That's a big old lot. It's a good Oh, yeah. I don't have nails here. Yeah. I taped it up good in case I ended up having to ship it anywhere, but actually I would have had to repack it anyway. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Oh yeah, that's a big old lot. Oh, yeah, was it your kids, yours, or? Oh, it was ours. We, um, we used it a lot when we first got it, and, uh, that's a huge lot. Got a new, uh, got a new console and had to make room. Did you get the Switch or the Wii U? Uh, we actually, got, an, uh, we both have Switches already. But okay. Those, those stay in our backpacks. Yeah. <laughs> so this, um. I like my Switch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I thought this was a binder at first yeah, with yeah. more games in there, but that's actually neat. I've never seen yeah. that before. Yeah. I like to collect games, so uh, anything. Yeah, no, I, I could tell by your questions that was probably <laughs> where you were coming from. Games and game paraphernalia. Yeah, we got some friends who, who that's what they collect. That's not. What Is that the wireless collect. sensor bar? Yes. I don't see that too often. Huh. The games are what I was just double checking here. All the House of Dead. I remember the arcade man. Back in the day when there was arcades. I won't swear that I cleaned the drive, so it may still have our. Um, Oh, I'll wipe them. I wipe them. Yeah, I wipe all of them. Yeah. Yeah, I'll never leave anybody's personal. Well, yeah. with the Wii, there's not much personal information. Exactly. They, they took right. down the online stores, so yeah. there's not much I could do. Right, right. But I would never, like, yeah. yeah. It's... No, that was just one of those things I'm not sure that. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I, I buy consoles a lot, and I see a lot of people, they'll leave all their, like, Xboxes, everything. Yeah, and, yeah. No, your and Xbox that, and stuff's connected to That's your, to very, your very dangerous. And stuff like that. No, I have no intention on. No, yeah, it'll no, it'll I be gone. Even bought any online, um, online stuff. But, um, in case there is anything in there. But the Wii works good and all. It doesn't have any no drive it issues. Worked, it worked a lot of them the, over the years they start yeah. to fail, which kind of sucks for them. But yeah. oh, this is definitely looking good. I'm very happy about it. That is true, people. Anytime you pick up consoles that have hard drives with them, always clean them. You never know what type of people are out there, the type of information that they can withdraw from these. It's just the right thing to do. All right, well, here's this. Right. 40 bucks. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. You have yourself a good day, okay? <laughs> it's going to turn into games and money for my collection and to get it back. I'm not the most knowledgeable with cameras, but I do like to pick them up from time to time. If I can get them cheap enough, I've had some pretty heavy scores with them before. And this one not being the best buy, it was still decent. There's still a little bit of money to be made. Let's go three. Sure. All right. Awesome. 
two dollars if you happen to have it there. <laughs> the trolls. I do, yeah. So it's getting older when you go to yard sales and people think this is old, you know? So here I am at another yard sale and immediately going right for the plug and plays. Man, I love these things. They're just, they're everywhere. People want to get rid of them as quick as they can buy them and people buy them, you know, as quick as you can list them. So that's a good thing about them. I pick up this purse thinking that it's Vera Bradley, but it was not. I had no indications for it. I used to buy these quite frequently. They used to sell fairly well. This one being an off brand, I left it behind. There's a lot of knockoffs on them. Avoid them if you can. Bottom of the pool. Yeah, but, well, <laughs> you know, that, that always is a possibility. Down there the, of the, pool. the next thing I pick up is the Simon Swipe handheld game. I'm always on the lookout for handheld games. This one in particular, I won't make as much nearly as I would with the Pac-Man, but it still wasn't bad for the price I got both of them for. Uh-oh. Never know till you ask. That's right. <laughs> like, would you take four for the pair? Sure. See, like I said, I didn't know yes. that, but I asked. That's right. <laughs> you haven't have any like other video games by chance, like old Nintendo or Sega, Xbox, Game no. Boy, anything modern? I mean, no games no. other than this. This is a video game. I know. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you can just plug it into the TV. Absolutely. Judging by the looks of this Wii bundle you're going to see me get, it doesn't look enticing at all, but the more you dive into it, the better it gets. This Barbie game was sealed. I might be able to get 10 15 bucks for that, as well as there was a copy of Abba in there. That's a game a lot of people don't know to look out for. It's one that can sell anywhere between 15 to 20 bucks. Not to mention I have all these Just Dance and singing games. When you bundle those together and market them towards kids in your listings, they usually sell quite well. What you getting on your way? That's yeah, not bad. You don't have to have anything older by chance, like old Nintendo, Game Boy, that sort of thing. No other games lurking around or anything. Man. I'll never stop asking if anybody has anything else they didn't bring out. And you can hear my list was kind of puny on this one. It's the end of the day, and I'm just kind of getting burnt out. But the second someone does actually bring a box full of games out, you'll always ask from then on. Go 20 minus the Wii Fit board. So for 25 bucks, I'll take it. Complete Wii setup with some games to flip. I'm happy about it. But anyways, that's all I got for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope to see a handful of new faces on the Discord server come by and say hello and show me your finds. But anyways, guys, take care and enjoy the rest of your day.